way today is your day. So um, then we got into music since 2014. Mm. You're mentioning something like Manenberg. You're mm. playing in clubs now, right? Yeah. Or some some music places. Yeah. Yeah. That's the reason why parents could not understand where you're coming from. Yeah. All right. But did you understand? Where you were going with that at, at the time, because playing in 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 Manenberg and, uh, and all, all all those joints, probably you were not doing gospel music. Yeah. Right? yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you are playing music, yeah. just playing, yeah. and somebody else will do the vocals. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And then came gospel music. Yeah. What happened? So yeah, some of the artists that I worked with in in the secular world, mm -hmm. um, the first artist I worked with was Ruth Mbango. Oh wow! Um, okay. Then I worked with Prudence Katumeni. Wow! Uh, I still work with her. She's actually a devout Christian, anyway. Yes. Um, yes. Mm -hmm. Even Ruth is a devout Christian, mm -hmm. but they just did jazz. I love jazz. I love Afro jazz. Okay. So I enjoyed it because it sort of also molded my music career. So even what I then studied, as far as piano is concerned, was jazz piano. So, for me, I never really moved away from jazz. It's just that I tried to find ways of incorporating the jazz into gospel. Okay. Um, obviously, then going into the gospel scene after Amara Brown, I played for Janet Panyola, I played for Zim Praise, Pastor G, Pride Priestley. Those are some of the people that I've worked with. Okay. And um, I obviously can't really infuse myself in people's music there's an extent to which i can do that okay. so for janet's music it there's no jazz there at all okay um, i understand but the shift to gospel was always going to happen because i grew up in a christian home my father is a preacher i did bible school and there was a point where i traveled with bishop Bismarck, and right now i'm part of the leadership at the church, uh, heading the music and media department. So I was always going to then uh, lean back into the church, but I also am grateful for the journey that I walked in jazz and Afro jazz because it it still is my passion. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, it was it it was a good thing after all, you know, doing jazz probably it made you even closer to gospel music, something like that. Right. right. Okay. Uh, you have mentioned something that is really interesting here, that uh, you mentioned a great man of God, uh, uh, our father, Bishop Tudor Bismarck. You yeah. said you traveled with him. There was a time that you traveled with him. Yeah. What exactly were you doing in the I mean, 